All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Mirage. I really hope you guys are having a great day today, staying safe out there, and also staying out of trouble. But, uh, all right, let's get right to it. So, today's episode is going to be really freaking cool because we're going to be going after our very first target, Al Ghul, which is uh, honestly a really fitting name. There's that. But, uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get right into it. All right, uh, let's go join Ali's pep talk. All credit where it is due, for this man came to my aid at my darkest hour. And from what I have heard, I am not the only one. <laughs> I will pay a great tribute to you in a chronicle of our exploits. But we must first write the end of it. Come. I see you two have met. Only briefly. But the night is young and there is much to discuss. About what you can procure for me. Our means are limited. But rest assured, I will listen to your needs, Ali. Later. Share what you know about Al Ghul, so that Basim may do what he's come here to do. Yes, yes, yes. Your affairs before mine. But just this once. Al Ghul sends orders to the prison guards detailing where to dig around Baghdad. But it's not just prisoners he's using. There is a promissory note for workers here. It looks like Al Ghul arranges to purchase migrant laborers as well. Who in Baghdad could make these sorts of arrangements without raising suspicion? There is but one man, Masoud Al Yaqub. He runs Baghdad's soap mills. Finds paying work for foreign settlers, most of them Persian. So he forces these laborers into working his dig sites, all under the guise of providing them with a livelihood. Meshi! <sighs> he tracked down one of Al Ghul's dig sites, posed as a prisoner. What happened? The search turned up nothing, but that did not stop the guards from trying to silence us. I cracked one skull and fled. I doubt the others were as lucky. A foolish thing to do with nothing to show for it. Not nothing. Al Ghul will be at the Karawansarai. I overheard the guards talking. Of course. Merchants from all over stop there to rest. If Mas'ud is buying migrant workers, it is <sighs> likely the Karawansarai is where he conducts his affairs. What does he look like? He is a large man. Favors adornments like jewels and silks from the east. Then he will be hard to miss. It is time, Basim. What is your plan? That will be for Basim to decide. Basim? Alone? No. Let me gather some men. And allow for foolish spectacle. Your day to display your prowess will come. But this day belongs to Basim. Consider it part of our agreement, Basim. I am ready. Then walk with me. Come, Basim. Man, I freaking love Roshan, man. She's honestly such a badass. The Slaver, open investigation menu. All right, let me check this out real quick. Um, So, order members, members of the Order of the Ancients lead double lives. Each keeps their identity secrets from the public and is assigned to a code name. Find enough clues to unmask the order members. They could turn out to be someone whom you thought you could trust. Oh, okay. That's actually really freaking interesting. They could turn out to be someone whom you thought you could trust. So that means that eventually in this game, we're going to meet someone. Or if not, we have already met them. That will turn out to be a, an Order of the Ancients member. That's actually pretty insane. Okay, so I'm going to keep my eyes open. Um, right now, I'm kind of thinking that maybe Ali could be one of them. Because, uh, no, nah, you know what? I was going to say, because he, he looked a little shady there, you know, kind of getting angry at Roshan, like, uh, you know, 
base wise but then again roshan is putting you know the uh assassin's uh agreements over his right before anything else and that might upset anyone if i'm being honest but uh oh man that's actually really interesting that is really interesting All right, so we have Al Ghul. Al Ghul's true identity as Mosod Al Yakub. I butchered that name like uh, like nothing else, to be honest. All right, uh, so merchant who uses migrant laborers to dig alongside the imprisoned. All right, wait, what was that? Hold on. Okay. What if I want to ride the cow? Look at this. Look at this fellow right here. And mount him. Not like that. No. <laughs> An order member is within our reach, Basim. Unlike those before and those yet to come, Alru's death will be just. This is a man who preys off the desperate and the disenfranchised. And such atrocities will only continue. For our rule is but a cog in a larger wheel. One that spins destructively. So long as it does, we hidden ones will make it our mission to slow it to a stop. Today, you will lend your hand, your blade, to that very mission. And while our rule is your first target, he will not be your last. I have great belief in that. And in you. Through all my stoicism, my harsh lessons, know that you have impressed me, Basim. The Order's presence in Baghdad and beyond rests on shifting sands so long as you remain at the tip of our spear. And that is where I intend to remain, beholden to your guidance, Master. Honestly, this relationship between uh, Roshan and Basim is a thousand times better than uh, Balak and Arno from uh, Unity. Because honestly, we barely got anything between them, you know? Like, yeah, Balak was technically Arno's master, but I don't know. We, we just never really had enough time with them together. As busy as a beehive. Come. Set your sights under trial. Merchants, livestock, caravans from all walks. And I thought Anbar's markets were disorderly. Where there is disorder, there is chaos. And chaos can bring opportunity. See what avenues present themselves. Be reactive, but patient. And trust your instincts. That is Mas'ud, on the balcony, just as Ali described. I see him. Go now, wet it with the blood of the slain. I will find you when it is over. You think your cruelty is well hidden, al -Ghul. For you chose those with little voice, whose cries you knew would go unheard. They dug at your bidding died at your hand, and were cast away like so much refuse. All to scour the desert for some artifact. Even now you haggle for flesh, safe in the Karwan Sarai. You prefer your victims chained and starved. It is time you faced a man unbound. All right, let's get it. Assassinate Al Ghul. Al Ghul revealed as Masood. I'm gonna skip his last name, is a member of the order who preys on desperate and disenfranchised, forcing them to dig in the desert for reasons unknown. <clears throat> Excuse me. One way to achieve this is by using his public status as a soap mill owner to quiet yeah, to quietly acquire migrant laborers eager for the promise of a livelihood. The caravan the caravanasari sorry is uh where he conducts such dealings. Look for distractions, opportunities to lure Al Ghul out. Wait. No, okay. The stage is yours, Basim. I will be watching. 
All right, let's uh, let's try to do this as perfect as possible without getting caught at all. Let um, let's see what we have here. Let's uh, let's actually first scout out the area, the entire area, before uh, we do anything. Oh, okay. Uh, so let's uh, tag all the guards as well. Can't forget about the ones on the outside. There we go. I should actually upgrade Enkidu's uh, sight so that uh, it could reach a little further. Um, let's see. All right. I thought there was going to be more guards in the courtyard. I don't really see that many. If anything, most of them are located by the uh, walls. One guy there. I think I'm missing someone because, uh, yeah, there's that little arrow. I think he might be underneath that... Uh, Staircase. Maybe that's why I can't see him. Yeah, I think uh, I think there's also more guards like uh, underneath the uh, structure itself. Yeah, even if I can't spot all of them, I might have to um, I might have to eyeball it. You know. And just be like careful uh, walking around in the inside. Yeah, for the most part, I think I got everyone. There's another guy there. Missing one? Oh, there he is. Oh, wow. There's a good amount on this side. Caused ruckus and alarm. Discipline. And when the opportunity presents itself, seize it. All right. So the first time I uh, went through this, I think I went through there. Wait, how many? Uh, I got four of them. Okay, I gotta be careful with the uh, amounts I have. What is the delay? Don't I am not here. here. What delays your departure, friend? Someone by the name of Mas'ud so fit to inspect my wares. And so here I wait. Who does he think he is? What is it you are carrying? I ask only so that I may collect it for you. Would you do that? I would take great joy in seeing that man in a fit of anger. It is a crate of silks and spices. Ready your camel. I will see what I can do. If I can get that merchant to leave, his abrupt departure may lure an hole out. We will be here until next all right, sundown. all right. I could use a distraction. Oh, is this really going to take us inside? Oh, it is. Nice. Yeah, I never used one of these uh, merchant groups before, so. Yeah, so I think uh, I think this is going to be a little harder since, uh, I mean, we figured out a way to uh, get inside, but to get outside, that's, that's where the real uh, test is going to come in handy. Confiscated item to the uh, caravan leader. We'll talk to that guy real quick. You dare? Come over here. We will promise steady work and fruitful returns. Now we're being made to slog in the desert. We were deceived. Please, you must help us. 
Tell me what I can do to help. The man who brought us has a deed that binds us to Mas'ud. If he has not collected his fee, he should still be here. If I can relieve these men of their duty, it will not be long before Al Ghul catches wind of his disbanded workforce. All right, so uh, find and speak to the workers' handler. Yeah, I'm going to try to, like, take out as many as I can, like the ground troops. I thought there was a couple more over here. I just got to be really careful now. I just, like, want to run in and... There we go. There cannot be too many of those around. Oh yeah, so that's another way to uh, get out of there, just uh, just in case. Who's that? Yeah, you try to come over here, buddy. <laughs> Nothing. Huh? That's odd. Nice. Oh, oh. Oh, dang. I think I forgot. Yeah, I forgot to clear out the uh, freaking thing. The uh, the guard right there. Hmm. Not like we'll go to sleep or anything. Both of them better not come this way, dude. I'm going to be so mad if they do. Good spot for us. Hey! Hold on! Grant me strength! Like some freak shit. As long as I don't alert anyone else, I should be alright. Yeah, there we go. I don't I don't I don't discount that as a disqualification for uh doing this in stealth, though. So I'll take it. What is that? Oh, I think it's a resupply station. All right, let's go uh, do the objectives real quick. I think we cleared enough from this side. Oh, I mean to do that. I want to bring him over here real quick. Uh, nothing to worry about. Something going on. Like that's not attracting anyone else, is it? Nice. Damn, lady, shut your mouth. Ah, awful timing. Combat roll. Greetings, my friend. What sorts of goods are you traveling with? Ivory and honey. And you? Are you seeking to trade? Perhaps. For now, I will browse for a little longer. Alright, so I wasn't that guy. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna try to use this against those windows just in case. Uh, I don't know what they're for, but uh, maybe it's a way to get out of here. So. There we go. 
Wait, is this a way out? This is perfect. All right, nice. It is a way out. Nice, dude. And I don't know why I just did there. All right. All right. So now we got a route out. So that's good. That's good. We're doing good so far. Good progress. Why do I keep whistling? I don't know. There is no talking to such filth. Damn, that was cool. strange thing to happen upon. Perhaps I can use this to my advantage. Well met, traveler. The Karwan Sarai is rich with wares today. I was wondering if you had any goods to sell? I only deal in Durham. And what I sell are not goods, boy. Though I suppose that depends on who you ask. I am not sure I understand. I sell men, laborers. But my lot is spoken for. Could I change your mind? I have coin to spare, and could use men such as yours. Fifteen thousand. Well, my man, I think we could uh, probably work uh, work it out somewhere other way, you know, like this. Yeah. <laughs> that is absurd. Yeah. Who has the means to pay so much? It is better to keep that question to yourself. Be on your way now. <laughs> if I'm going to free those laborers, I will have to steal the deed. I'm like, yeah, when you're so broke, you uh, fail the mission. Those two men are having a loud dispute, but not loud enough. How might I push them over the edge? Huh? What's happening? He's not going to climb over the window, is he? Right. Oh, okay. Oh, another way out. Okay. All right, let's go for that deed real quick. Now to free those men. I have claimed the deed from your handler. You are bound no longer. Go! The laborers run amok. al -Ghul will take notice. I must be ready to strike. Word will surely get to al -Ghul. Come out and spectate, coward. I was hoping to also, uh, you know, get the, uh, get the merchant's, uh, things, the things he needed, but I guess he could only do one. I gotta be careful here, cuz... Okay, there we go. Now is my chance. Oh, that was really close. This ends now. Turn your hate inward, Masoud. It is your wickedness that has led you here. Wickedness? To whom? The unenlightened? The feeble who have cast their lot? It is our divine will to rule over them. Our duty to exact their contribution. 
Contribution to what? To what could be. The very knowledge of which lies buried beneath these sands. Some things are meant to stay that way. No, 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 no. These are gifts destined to be recovered. They speak to us, as you well know. Me? Oh, yes. The hidden one you may be, but not just. Assassin's Focus 1, uh, out of conflict, trigger Assassin's Focus, or 3 to execute perfect sequence of assassinations. While Assassin's Focus is active, select which enemies to target with R1 and press X when you're done. Basim will perform the assassination sequence automatically, replenish the focus by, by performing stealth kills in order to be able to use the ability again. Wait. Okay, there we go. Al-Ghul's relentless pursuit at the expense of human lives has come to an end. It is a day of victory, not only for those spared of his cruelty, but for the hidden ones. The Order's grand plot in Baghdad may still be a mystery, but we can at least be certain Al-Ghul's role in it has been vanquished. I believe what he sought to uncover were more strange objects. Like the one I took from the Winter Palace. What does the Order want with these relics of the past? And why guard them with so much effort? You are beginning to ask the right questions, Basim. We shall find the answers together. Lately, all I have are questions. What do you mean? Nothing. Forget I said anything. How am I to guide you if you will not speak openly? I have... I have... struggled with nightmares. In these dreams, a jinni torments me until I wake up panicked and soaked with sweat. In Alamut, I had nearly forgotten about it. But when I killed Alhul, I felt its presence again. And I am left asking why? Why here? Why now? Why me? Piling questions and no answers. I meant to tell you, but... You were afraid I would think you weak of mind. We are only as weak as we allow ourselves to be. To shed a weakness, you must do what is necessary to mend that which causes you pain. Will you permit me a brief respite? I wish to seek out an old friend. Niha? I remember. She is important to you, isn't she? She is. But last we spoke, I led her to believe otherwise. This causes you pain. Then go and heal this wound without delay. 
Find me at the Hiberia Bureau when it is set out. If that was indeed Nihal, I have not a clue where she went. Back home in Anbar, maybe. Honestly, I think we did a really good job this time around. Yeah, we did really good. Alright, so we're gonna go visit Nihal, but uh, that's gonna be uh, till next episode. So, uh, one member of the Order of Ancients is down. There we go. Yep. Eliminate it. Alright, so let's see what we have here. My old home. Okay, so I guess we're going back to Anbar next. Uh, and thankfully, we got this uh, ability right here, finally. The knife recovery. But let me check out the other ones, just in case. Kick back. I don't think I need that right now. No. Okay, yeah, let's go with knife recovery. We could actually go for another one. Let's go with this one. Oh, we could go for both, actually. Let's do that. There you go. All right, there we have it. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Cast your gaze, Enkidu. 